Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I'm the book geek also known as Kiava and this is my 2022 book goals slash reading goals slash YouTube goals. My 2022 goals. Now, as always, these will just be my book related goals for the year. These are not my personal goals. I could go on forever about those. Um, but basically I didn't reach any of my 2021 goals. I did practice a lot of them, but I don't think I achieved what I wanted to achieve. So that's why I'm saying I don't think I reach any of my goals. Now for 2022, I'm going to put my uh, personal goals, life goals, and my book related goals, since this is a hobby of mine, and you know, all my goals, I'm gonna um, put them in different categories and I'm gonna put all my goals in a spot up on a wall in my house where I can see them every day because I'm someone who needs to look at their goals if I want to reach them. Um, right ahead of me is my vision board. Those are long-term goals like buy a house, get published, those type of things. Um, and I look at that every day. Graduate from college. Every time I'm sitting at this computer over here doing my online schoolwork and I'm ready to quit, I just look over at my vision board and I know that I can't quit because there are some goals on there that I need a degree to reach. So um, similar to my vision board, I'm going to place my yearly goals up on a wall. I think I'm gonna put them um, near the front door because I have to go out that door. That's my only door to the apartment. I have to go out that door um, every day. Come in, go out, it's right by the kitchen. So even if I'm home, uh, and not leaving, I gotta walk to the kitchen and get something to eat eventually. And I'm going to see those goals staring me in the face every day. So um, that's what I'm gonna do. But anyways, for 2022, I'm not setting a, um, a number goal to reach as far as how many books I wanna read for the year. Now, I like to uh, log my books on Goodreads. So I'm gonna set a challenge of one book um, the goal this year is just to read, just to see how many books I can actually get to. It's not to reach a certain number, it's just to read, just read, just read like hell. The second goal, book related goal, is to continue book series and possibly complete some book series. I just recently did a series check-in video, go check that out, I'll link it. Um, and you can see um, some of the book series that I want to continue and some of that I've added on, including this bad boy right here. I plan to read this book, at least the first book, um, this year. Um, next goal is to read more of the books I own. I want to read more books off my shelf. Books on, that I have on my shelf already are priority over new books that will be coming in basically is what I mean. Another goal of mine is to continue to read through the Goodreads Choice Award categories. So in my um, handy dandy notebook here, I have um, printouts of the different categories from the Goodreads Choice um, Awards. So for instance, I have um, all the books that were under the best fiction category, best mystery thriller, that's what I mean. And so um, the goal is to continue to, you know, just read books and um, from the Goodreads Choice Awards categories from 2019 to 2021. Every year I add, you know, every time they do this, I add more. So it's just gonna next year to be 2019 through 2022. So I started doing this in 2019. When I realized that I've read a book that was on one of these lists, I just go ahead and um, cross it off like I did here with unspeakable things. So that's what I wanna do. That's the goal is to try and make my way through some of these lists 
that I've created. Another goal is to also continue to make my way through the great American read list. It's mostly classics on this list, such as um, 1984 or um, The Great Gatsby. The next goal is to read more sci-fi and to read more fantasy. I would also like to read 30 minutes to one hour daily. Now, um, last year, one of my goals was to read one hour a day, every day. Um, I read one hour or more. That was just the minimum. I can read more than an hour, but I would like to read at, that. I would like to read at least one hour a day. That was the goal for last year. Um, I did manage to read at least an hour on some days, but I missed a lot of days there in between. So that's why I said I didn't reach any of my goals. And this year I decided to do 30 minutes to one hour because I am so busy. Sometimes one hour is not doable for me, but I can always squeeze in 30 minutes of reading, especially at work during my lunch break or um, down times, I can squeeze in um, 30 minutes of reading. It might not be 30 consecutive minutes. Um, I might have to stop and, and pick back up the book, but I can definitely squeeze in a lot of reading at work. And I'd like to buddy read with my oldest son. Um, he is 12 years old. I wanna um, do this before he doesn't wanna do anything else with me anymore. Um, he's growing up and um, it was a goal of mine that I did not reach last year. I don't think we read any books together last year. Um, of course, he does his own reading or his own time and for school and homework and whatnot. But I want to have that bonding experience with my son. It's something that we used to love to do, especially when he was younger. And um, I want to read some of these fantastic middle grade books with him. I want to read every night to my youngest son. My youngest son is nine, he'll be 10 in March. We read together all the time, but we don't do it every night. We don't do it enough. Um, so I want to make sure, even in the new year, we might not be able to do it every night, but I wanna do it more often than I was doing it before. At night, when I usually read to him, it's just me reading the book and he he's listening. Um, sometimes I have, like during the day or whatever, um, I might have him read to me, but um, at night when we do the reading, it's just me reading to him. So right now um, at night, we're reading James and the Giant Peach. As you can see, I got a bookmark in here, one of my bookmarks that I made. Yes, I make bookmarks and I will be opening up a website this year. I've shut down my Etsy website and I'm gonna be reopening my own website. I have to redesign the whole thing, but a new website will be coming where you can purchase my bookmarks. I'm pretty good at it too. But anyway, we're reading James and the Giant Peach right now. So um, right now we're all coming, coming back to health after dealing with COVID. And so we weren't doing our nightly readings, but right now we're gonna be getting back into our normal schedule of things. And at night we will be continuing this and we will be finishing this in January. Now I've pulled some other books off my shelf that I would like to also read nightly with my son. And um, sometimes depending on situations or whatever, some of these might move into the daytime, like on the weekends or whatever. And he can actually read to, um, we can read together. He can read some pages, I can read some pages. But I'm just gonna quickly show you some of the books that I pulled off my shelf and out of their um, bookshelves that I would like to try to get to uh, with my youngest son this year. Now, we might not necessarily read all of these, but these are some of the books that um, we're gonna try and make our way through. I'm just gonna quickly show you um, which books I've decided to um, read every night with my son as we make it through the new year. I'm not gonna tell you what these books are about right now because that's not what this video is about. But the first one here is The Wizard of Oz, Sugar, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, A Wrinkle in Time, The Forgotten Girl, Some Places More Than Others, Tight, The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Redding, Charlotte's Web, and Dare, The Court Jester, Inside Out and Back Again, The Book of Chaos, and Jumbies, and the sequel, which is Rise of the Jumbies. I forgot to grab 
the first book. We're just gonna read every night and we'll see how many of these we can get through. The next goal is to do some buddy reading with some of my book friends. So um, my bookstagram friends or my booktube friends. I used to do buddy reads all the time with one of my other book friends, Angel, um, and I kind of started slacking on that. So I want to get back to that and, and maintain those sort of um, relationships with the friends that I've made through the, through the book community. The last goal here is to read more horror. I need more horror in my life. I love scary stuff and I just, I love horror books and I don't read enough of them. So I would like to add more horror to my TBR this year. All right, that's it. Those are my 2022 book related goals. Um, let me know some goals that you might have if you're willing to share. And um, let me know what ideas you have to actually accomplish those goals. Um, you leave your comments down below. Anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so you never miss a video. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.